Last week's fire in downtown La Crosse took away a piece of history that can be traced back to the 1800s. With the historic building now gone, some city officials are trying to maintain others also in danger of being lost. First News at 9's Alex Loroff explains the city's push for historic preservation. Dozens of buildings throughout the city of La Crosse are listed on both the local and national register of historic places. Chair of the city's Heritage Preservation Commission, Mackenzie Mendel, says maintaining those sites keeps La Crosse vibrant. Historic places and historic buildings add to downtown local economies and community local economies. They add to tourism. That's why Mendel believes losing the over 100-year-old Mueller building to a fire last week was a significant blow to the city. This building was still historic, even though it wasn't on our historic register. Your experience of downtown La Crosse will be never the same. The fire is leading preservationists to raise awareness about other historic buildings the city is in danger of losing. Maybe it's not being used to its highest and best use, vacant, it's been neglected, or it's part of an area of the city that might be deemed um, for a larger redevelopment project, and we're worried about losing it that way. The Heritage Preservation Commission has published its second annual list of the most endangered historic properties in La Crosse. Buildings include the former casino bar on Pearl Street, the J.P. Kohler Building and John Halverson House on 4th Street South, and Fire Station No. 4 on Gillette Street. Planning Administrator Tim Acklin says safeguarding those sites could benefit La Crosse in many ways. Historic preservation can morph over into the neighborhood's element, it can morph to the housing element, it can morph into the economic development. I mean, that's where it's sort of the versatility of historic preservation is it's, it can be applicable to many other elements that a city has and how it can fit in to be a positive. Ackland hopes city officials will consider keeping the historic properties in place when planning for La Crosse's future. In La Crosse, Alex Loroff, First News at 9. La Crosse's endangered historic properties list is coinciding with Historic Preservation Month. Two of the buildings part of last year's list have since been demolished.